Isaac Yenya was young, he struggled to understand how an image could be turned into a tattoo on a person's skin. It's that curiosity that led him to venture into tattooing, a subversive yet interesting art form that is socially seeing a growing acceptance. Now, 12 years into the game, Isaac is a tattoo artist and the owner of Ink Gang, a tattoo parlor in Buruburu, Nairobi, where his art literally leaves an indelible mark on his clients. To be a tattoo artist, um, even if you're talented in drawing and other artistic skills, you need to look for an apprenticeship first. Without finding an apprenticeship, you can't learn because you need to learn from other tattoo artists. There's no actual particular school for tattooing. When I started, there were not so many tattoo artists, or tattoo shops rather. There were only two in town. Before Isaac could venture out on his own after his apprenticeship, he first had to find people who were willing to be practice canvases for his work. But finding those volunteers was hard, and clients even harder to come by. It took me like uh, six months. Most of the people were denying me uh, the ability to just learn. And being an apprenticeship, it's like an un unpaid internship, per se. So you need to like open the shop, clean for the tattooer, uh, basically running the old shop and uh, while learning at the same time. Depends on how skilled you are in drawing, but can take two to three years. Uh, I had to do a lot of free tats at first. Actually, I had to work on myself first. I had to tattoo myself first because I didn't want to tattoo someone else then not do a mistake or have bad outlines on their tattoo or anything. So I started with myself and it was really bad, turned out really bad online. <laughs> the first one. The third one wasn't so bad. At least the line work was all good and the shading. So that's when I got some confidence and I need to bring my friends in and tattoo them. Every tattoo uh, guy or girl has uh, their own clientele. And to build a clientele, you need uh, years of experience. It took a while, it took like uh, two, two, three years before I started getting my own clients. At this point, Isaac had mastered the art of creating beautiful body art and started to gain a loyal clientele. The only thing left to do was set up his own tattoo shop. While I was doing an appren the, the apprenticeship in Kenya Cinema, I gathered some money for the two years I was there. It took me like, I guess, one, 150. Yani that's, that's pretty basic. But for a good tattoo shop to run, basically it's like half a million. Most of it went to the equipment, because the equipment back then was really expensive. Um, the machines took about 50,000, then depot for the shop. And I just started with like two seats, like two stools. From the 150,000 Kenya shillings, Isaac bought the power supply, the clip cord and the step switch, the machine, and a few needles. As the business grew, Isaac bought more equipment to suit his clients' needs and ensure their safety. While tattoos are the ultimate blend of self-expression, creativity and art, cost is a major factor to consider before taking a spot on the chair to get some new ink. Every tattoo artist has their own price per se, depending on, I guess, how much experience they have, what they've been through in their career, location, I say. But averagely, most tattoo artists, the starting rate starts from two five onwards for a small tattoo, you know, for a minimal piece. On a good day, you can do two pieces and get up to 70 Gs just one day. And owners that do seven pieces any amount to 10,000, again. So it's more of what size of piece am I, how detailed the piece is. Like the whole back, that can amount even to 100 Gs. It depends, from, from 40 to 100 Gs. It depends on how intricate or detailed it is and how many sessions you need to come through. Like every other business, there are some good days and bad days, financially speaking. While the business is Isaac's bread and butter, he cautions anyone interested in becoming a tattoo artist to not do it for the money. 
Tattooing is it's it's not it's stable, but sometimes it's un it's unpredictable. That's what I'd say. So uh, during that period of time where you may not get a client, you need to be doing something to earn some money. So that's why I eventually entered the graphic design first. So me doing t-shirts, painting, sometimes my tattoos, all that factors in me paying rent to the shop and every other thing. Don't do it for the money, I'd say. Though money, you can't avoid, and it's a basic factor and in every human being, but don't do it for the money. You'll give it really fast. I can say it's been a good all through. There have been some hard times, the times I've questioned myself, but it's something I really wanted to do, so I decided to stick with it.